Hi, you 12. This is Mr. Lim again, and this is our, uh, I don't know, whatever number video on aldehydes. Okay, this is um, the oxidation of aldehydes. So, we're going to be learning about combustion reactions, half equations, and how to manufacture some aldehydes. All right, so aldehydes can undergo oxidation in two ways, just like alcohols can combustion and uh, oxidation via an oxidizing agent where they produce carboxylic acids. Okay, so we're going to be learning about carboxylic acids later, but for right for now, um, all you need to know is that aldehydes make carboxylic acid. Okay, so combustion, all the same things as alcohols. Uh, so you just have to consider the extra carbons. So let's have a look. So combustion of methanol. Yeah. Okay, methanol, one carbon aldehyde group. Okay, uh, plus your oxygen goes to CO2 and H2O. And that is balanced, lucky you. Okay, so that's just a simple combustion of methanol. Let's do some butanol. Let's do it in condensed structural formula. So CH3, CH2, CH2, and uh, CHO. So that's four carbons and the CHO group. Okay, um, with some oxygen and CO2 plus H2O. So let's go balance this. I need four of those. Oops, let's do that in a different color. Four of those. And uh, how many hydrogens do I need? Uh, eight, so I need four of those as well. That will make give me 12 oxygens, and I can't make 12 oxygens because I have that one single oxygen there. So that's going to be difficult, so I have to go two. If I do that two, then that's going to be eight. And that's going to be eight, right? And so therefore now I have even numbers of oxygens on both sides. So I have 16 here plus eight, which makes 24 oxygens. I have two oxygens here because of the two there and the one oxygen there. So I have two oxygens there, so I need 22 more, so I need 11. Okay, and one of those numbers is odd number, that's the 11, which means that we're good for the lowest uh, numbers uh, for your the simplification of that um, coefficients. All right, let's move on. Okay, so aldehydes will oxidize uh, using strong oxidants uh, into structures which are carboxylic acids which look like this they have a carbon with a double bonded o and an oxygen and a hydrogen there okay that's what a carboxylic acid looks like okay for each aldehyde group oxidized into a carboxylic acid group you need one water as a reactant so water as a reactant um, and it produces two hydrogen ions and two electrons. Okay, so let's have a look at an example. Uh, well, yeah, you need to use it with a sufficiently strong uh, oxidizing agent. Okay, so oxidation of ethanol. Let's have a look at ethanol. There's your uh, two carbons, <coughs> your, um, your aldehyde group, and so it's going to turn into a carboxylic acid okay so <coughs> you're gonna have its double bonded O and your alcohol group there and your others and that makes ethanoic acid hey that looks familiar all right so the old concept is that you've got an extra oxygen there where does that extra oxygen comes from? It comes from water as a reactant. Okay, so we've balanced out our non-oxygen hydrogens. Now we balance out our oxygens by adding waters. Then you need to add in extra hydrogens because you haven't actually added in hydrogens. You got one, two, three, four. You got one, two, three, four. So you've just got those extra hydrogens to balance out there. And by doing so, you need some electrons to balance that out. Okay, so that's the oxidation of ethanol. Right, uh, let's go on. You guys can do the oxidation of hexanel. All right, give that a go. It'll make hexanoic acid. Um, what else? Uh, so what we're looking at is that um, the oxidation of aldehydes usually comes immediately after the oxidation of primary alcohols into aldehydes. So the idea is that you've got your alcohol, let's say methanol, okay? Right, that turns into methanol. That's your aldehyde. All right, and if you've still got oxidizing agent there, you are going to turn into methanoic acid. Yeah. Okay, so if you have oxidizing agent here and here, you will have that reaction occur. 
Okay, so to make aldehydes without making carboxylic acids, it's a bit difficult, all right? Because you, what you then need is a limited amount of oxidizing agent so that you don't have that second oxidizing uh, reaction occur. And so you need to constantly remove the aldehyde so it doesn't continue to oxidize into a carboxylic acid. So you put a limited amount of oxidizing agent in, limited, and you have to remove the aldehyde as it's made so that it doesn't react with any of that oxidizing agent that's there. Right. And so making aldehydes is not that the simplest process, but, you know, it can be done. All right. So next. Uh, so we just said that... Uh, Primary alcohols turn into aldehydes, which turn straight into carboxylic acids unless you do something about it. So generally, we just show that primary alcohols go straight to carboxylic acids um, uh, in one kind of hit. All right. So um, if we combine those two equations where we have a primary alcohol going to a aldehyde going to a carboxylic acid, carboxylic acid, right? Um, here, this reaction here, we had uh, two hydrogens and two electrons as reactants. And then this reaction here, we had two hydrogens and two electrons as reactants as well, oh, sorry, as products, as well as a water as a reactant. Okay, so if we combine those two together, we can go straight from a primary alcohol to a carboxylic acid in one uh, half equation, which what is which is what we'll show to now. Okay, so ethanol. Here is your ethanol. Why don't we need to give a number on the ethanol? Because whichever carbon it is, it's going to be on number one, and we're going to go bring it to ethanoic acid. Okay, too lazy to draw those extra hydrogens. Okay, straight to ethanoic acid. So we've got to uh, first of all say, okay, well. We've got two lots of two hydrogens and two electrons as products. Okay, so that makes four hydrogens and four electrons. And we've also got the water as a um, reactant. Ideally, what you really should have done was say, okay, well, the carbons are balanced, the oxygens aren't balanced, so we add a water in. Then we have to balance out the hydrogens, you count up the hydrogens, and you need four of them, and then you add the four extra electrons. All right, that's really what you should have done. I just did it the lazy way. Okay, so that's how you uh, can show the complete oxidation of an aldehyde. All right, uh, you can have a go at the oxidation of one propanol yourself, all right, and it will make a propanoic acid. Okay, so you have a go at that, and then if you have any questions, come and ask. Adios.